Yeah, but I've just had three days to binge feed. Like, don't say it. Soft answer. You know, soft answer. Like, no, no, I got to work. I got to work. I got to work. And like, Denise, she says this day, I just froze. My head was like, because I'm trying to decide whether to let it out or not. Like, don't let it out. No, let it out. No, don't let it out. No, let it out. A marriage license is not a permission slip to say anything to your spouse to hit your brain. They're still your brother and sister in the Lord. There's rules what you can and cannot say. And so all of a sudden, I just took a deep breath. And I, you're right. You are right. My God, babe, I can't believe you shared that. I got a lot of friends in my life. Nobody's ever loved me enough to share that with me. God, you must love me. I appreciate you sharing that because I didn't know that about myself. Come here and hug me. Now, she did. She didn't hug me for three days, but it, it turned out really good. If you don't start talking truth to one another, you're never going to change. You are a gift from God from one another. You may make fun of Junior. I guess you think you're just God's gift to man. Well, you are. It's in the Bible. We are a gift to one another. When you talk to one another, speak softly. Verse 10, watch this one. First Peter 3, 10. The person that would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and see that his lips speak no lies. Like, oh man, I got to watch what I say. I got to clean my life up. If somebody would ask, Joe, what's changed your marriage, saved your marriage, or changed your marriage the most in your life? Learning to shut my mouth and say good things. Now, I'm not lying. I'm not avoiding things. But it's like, what are you trying to do? Solve a problem, Matthew 5, 9. I don't care what Denise says, what I say. What are you trying to do? And Denise does it to me all the time. She's got really good at it. She, what are you trying to do? Solve a problem. Now, I don't like to hear it sometimes. What she's trying to do? Fix something. You, Joe, you need to change this. Joe, you need to do better at this. You know? She's my biggest critic and my biggest fan of what I do. Whether I was an engineer, I'm a preacher. I know one thing. I don't care who shakes my hand and smiles at me. Joe, we really love that. Well, praise God. <laughs> Joe, that was so great. Praise God. <laughs> Changed my life. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm going to see my wife now. <laughs> and she's going to tell me what I could have done better. Why? Because she, she loves me. She wants me to get better. And so what happens is if you're easily offended because your spouse says something, we're going to have to get a handle on that. Because they are a gift from God to communicate with you what you need to hear. It's just people, I'm going to tell you again, don't get mad and yell when you say it. 